Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. Two inches of new snow on both mountains in the last 24 hours. But right now we're going to switch gears and talk to Dr. Corman. He's with the Stedman Clinic and you specialize in spine disorders. And I've had my share of this. And yeah. I think there's a great majority of the Americans who do suffer from spine disorders. Oh, my goodness. It's, you know, it's estimated 80% of the population at one time or another. Yeah. It's a big deal. It really is, and it's debilitating, whether it keeps you away from work or the fun activities you like to do, exactly. or just life in general. Yes. And so today I thought we'd talk about one of the disorders that's pretty interesting because obviously when you're young, your mom tells you to stand up straight yeah. and you push your shoulders back. But as we get older, we start to bend forward too, and you can't tell your mother to stand up straight, yeah. obviously. <laughs> But what happens is there are certain specific things that happen in the spine that force us forward. And I thought we'd talk about one of them because it's pretty interesting in my opinion. Yeah, you know what? I mean, you see that a lot more with older people. And is there a way to prevent it if you, if well, you are more conscious there, of there it? There is, but if you understand the mechanics of the disorder, okay. then you can understand how to actually make it better. I find myself sitting up very straight <laughs> when, uh, as soon as you come in the room. Okay, you have some slides that will yes. show us a little bit about the anatomy and give us an idea of what is happening. Exactly. So walk us through this. So this first picture... Uh, you see the white arrow pointing to the side view of the spine. Yep. And you can see in the center of the picture, there's that long white canal. Yep. And the arrow's pointing to the black area, and that's a narrowing of the spinal canal. Oh, wow. This condition is a mouthful. It's called a degenerative spondylolisthesis. It's Latin <laughs> for an area of slip and, and narrowing. But this condition creates pressure on the nerves. So if we can go to the next picture. Okay. We... There we, there we go. go. So what happens is that unfortunately our spine wears out. The discs themselves, that small arrow points to the disc, starts to wear and the joints in back, which I call the door stops, actually wear too. And literally one vertebra slides forward on the other. Mm. And so it, what happens, next slide, is that it narrows the canal. Okay. And so this slide is interesting because our spinal canal actually changes in volume when you bend forward and backward. So the picture over on the left is when you bend backward and you see how narrow the canal can get. Yep. And when you bend forward, you see the canal opens up. So let's go to the next picture. So we have a normal posture. You know, yep. this is where people tell you to straighten up. And you can see the heads sort of right over the pelvis on the side there. Mm -hmm. And the next picture. What happens with this disorder is you try and straighten your back out because it hurts to stand up. Yeah. So you end up with a posture where you have a bent knee and a flat spine. And that's, that's the gist of the whole thing. And the next picture. And this is what you look like. You're sort of bent forward, your knees are bent, and it's a real problem because every time you try and stand up straight, what happens is, is you crush those nerves. And nobody <laughs> likes to have crushed yeah, nerves. Yeah, yeah, because that causes a little that shooting pain, Exactly, right? exactly. Okay. And so this disorder that you have is something that's compensated for by bending forward, and mm -hmm. these people can't stand up straight. Okay. Now, is there anything we can do to help prevent that? There, this is a great disorder for a physical therapist. Yeah. Because they can work on what's called core strength, which we talked about earlier, where you actually rotate your pelvis and you tighten up your abdominal muscles, and that flattens your back. And flattening the back is exactly what this is about. If you do that, you can walk straighter and you can walk further. It seems like the back is always related to the core. Ex that's it. So, you know, to always have those working in harmony is what we should strive for. That's the key. Okay. Be able to bounce quarters off our belly. Okay. If <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Now, if we want to find out more about this and the work that you do, yes. what's the best resource? Uh, the best resource, I have a website, neckandback.com. And if you go there, you can learn about anatomy and physiology. You can learn about treatments to take care of these things. It's a pretty complete website. Okay, perfect. And mm -hmm. if you want to get out there, ski longer, hike longer, golf longer, check out Neck and Back and check out the research that's done by Dr. Corman from the Stebnick Clinic. We'll be back. We're going to have more weather details with Ken.